Hello, I am Mike of Nearly Enough Dice. This is the Kerbal Space Program. Moon number three is on the Mun. Mun number three is on the Mun. Uh, it's currently fully refueled. I was very pleased with myself. I actually worked out exactly how much ore I needed to, to get. Uh, which is basically the amount of liquid fuel oxidizer and monopropellant that I needed divided by two because every unit of ore becomes two units of whatever. So um, I only I mind exactly what I need. So I have only 0 0.29 ore left in the tank. So I'm quite pleased with that. Um, so I've got a fair delta V. Pretty good. Um, I have activated that. Just very quickly going to go into I need to edit HUD HUD 2 so I noticed that it's I think I moved it over there when my toolbar got really big um Yeah, my toolbar got really big, so I have to move. I have to move that over now. That's all actually getting in, in in this control here. But I've moved some of my things down to this toolbar. Anyway, anyway, that's getting completely beyond the point. Um, I got this is where I want to go to. I want to go to the rock art to rock art number one um, waypoint. Um, I was only able to get within seven, well, just under eight kilometers uh, from. Uh, Way over here, that's pretty much where it had to be. So I went all the way over there. Um, basically, because I didn't, I wasn't, I, was, I, was, I spent quite a lot of time working out how, you know, the distance I needed to go, and I didn't aim myself as accurately as I might have done. And I've, I've added another couple of waypoints. These are, these are custom waypoints that I've added using the waypoint editor for two anomalies that I do not currently have a contract to go and, go and see. So I might have a look at that in a sec. Um, don't want that map up just now. So now I want to go get that final um, eight kilometers. Let's make sure I'm not. Oh, yep, I was actually still doing monoprop, although I didn't. I mean, the the ISIU was still going despite the fact that I'd run out of space to put monoprop in. It keeps going, which is a problem. That because you run out of electricity if you're not careful. So I'm going to retract the drill and I'm going to retract um, what are those called? Solar panels. <laughs> retract the ladder. I'm going to open up one of these terminals and I'm basically putting it under my, my face so you don't have to stare at it or it doesn't take up too much of the screen that isn't already taken up by stuff. I should really um, copy the files over that need to be copied but I'm going back to the archive which technically speaking because I'm on the MUN and I'm far away from KSC. This should be, uh, you know, light speed issues going on here. But uh, I'm at the moon MUN hopper, not hopper. There we go. So there we go. We'll just move that more down there. So I'm basically planning to hover my way over. Um, I could do that with the actual hover script, couldn't I? Because I have two CPUs. Now I want to make sure that I'm pointing this way because that's this is the way that I, I um, I'm, you know, that's the best way to, to place to, to maneuver the, the craft from. Okay. 
Now, here's a question. Is it as simple as run hover? I'm just going to have to have a quick check of my scripts directory, which is slightly off screen. I do apologize for that. Yeah, it's just hover. This is going to keep me hovering um, some meters above the terrain. Okay. Let's go up a bit. What's up? basically trying to, to constantly orient myself upwards, uh, which is great because that's ultimately what I want, because um, that, that means I'm, I'm going to be pointing directly up and down. Um, but it's interestingly wobbly. So I'm now heading along at uh, 15 meters a second, 15 and a bit meters a second, about 30 miles an hour. that should be fine but I could probably use less if I went faster but if I go faster um, you see that I've got this crater wall coming up here and obviously there is the possibility of slamming into it uh, basically you know this this thing will will keep itself uh, a certain amount above the the ground, um, but if I'm going along at 15 meters a second, does that cliff wall, you know, am I going to have enough 
speed. Am I going? To, if I'm going too fast, I'm not going to be able to rise myself up uh, before I smash into the into the access wall. Now I can just go up a bit further. A meter at a time. To. Of course, one of the, the funky things is um, it, I've, I've got this really ridiculous. Um, you know, the hover script is, is starting. It started at 12.67 blah 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 meters. 12.627399 four four which is the height of the center of mass of my craft at the time it was landed. Uh, which is obviously to do with, um, you know, where the legs were, how they were balanced, uh, which in turn is due to, you know, to do with the exact um, slope that I was on. And so I'm always going to be this slightly weird, um, you know, the, 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 the seek altitude is always going to be this slightly weird value. It might be a thing to add to be able to, you know, set that to a to a, a known value, as in as it rounds it all off. So you know, have an action group that um, does that. I should possibly get some action group. Uh, there's a, there's a, a a couple of interesting mods for action groups. Um, why don't I turn around? So instead of going sideways, I'm going fronty ways. And if I aim uh, as directly as possible towards Side. This is what you see. From inside. Oh, I didn't see that. But I'm not going to be piloting it from the inside. No, I think that would be unwise. go quite a ways up. Uh, my BTDT scanner is on, so we'll load up the instrument window. Ooh, it's already found something. Found rock arch zero zero, but it's not found any structures, which is reasonable, really, when you think about it. Um, uh, where should we move you? Let's move you down slightly. There's just a few bits and pieces I want to see. Uh, yeah, technically speaking, I don't think I need that window up. I've got so many windows up, it's ridiculous. I don't think I really need that window up. Um, it'll run quite nicely without it. I'm really having to run out of, of, of space. How, however, I've actually done what I need to do with the instrument window, so I can give it that. Move that down there. Now, here's a question. Do I want to go faster? Um, that is indeed a question. I'm drifting a bit. No, actually, I don't think it was drifting. I think I was actually more. Let's go back a bit more.
I think I was just turning, I was turned the wrong way. Which, uh, I seem to be having difficulty keeping myself turned the way I want to be. That seems to drift. Now here we're going up the, the cliff. Well, it's not really a cliff, but it's, it's a hill. to uh, mm. I have overshot uh, and so the uh, the engines actually stop for a bit which is a bit worrying I'd like to be going a bit faster than this because this is taking a little while. Um, I'm spinning off target again. I wonder why I keep doing that. Boy, 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 boy. That would be a nice thing to do to be able to point. Um, just my role, so I'm pointing the way I, I think I should be pointing. I wonder if my lock steering to up isn't trying to change which way I'm pointing. I mean, it shouldn't be that important. Now, is there really just a rise that I can say, right, I'm now over that, I can... Yeah, I think when I'm over this... I'm, it's going to be safer to, to maybe move a bit faster. I mean, 30 miles an hour is quite slow. Go up a bit more. I've overshot because I, I just added a whole bunch right then and there, so I just went whoosh. Um, which is a problem, obviously, with. Um, I've gone very high up. That's a bit worrying. Yeah, not good. Should be alright because it should. Yeah, so it's it's it's. There you go. That's all right. So I went twenty meters above, but only two meters below, which is um, pretty good actually. Am I drifting a little off that way? I think I am. over this ridge then everything is fine. Um, yeah, the, the engines are beginning to have to work now as I start going over this ridge. Um, looks like everything's in fact going to be fine. There's actually a bit of a drop-off, which I don't want to have to deal with. 
which I am going to have to deal with unless I. Well, just go. Right, so I'm going to overshoot, I suspect, the top of this ridge. It's almost like going off a ramp, it's like whoosh. Um, oh. uh, I mean there's there's not yeah, so there's there's the ridge and then there's a bit of a drop off, so that's not helping. And so the because of the, the speed I was going, I was having to, you know, go quite quickly upwards so that end up like it's like going off a ramp, like I say. So now I'm very high up above where I wanna be. And I'm just trusting the thing at the minute. Um, I'm hoping that before uh, I get too close, because I went 20 meters up, so that was I went over. That's that's a lot further up than I really like. Uh, there we go. It's the nature of this kind of hollow. Um, you know, I can, I mean, if I overshoot, there's nothing I can do. I, well, technically there is. I could use the, um, I could theoretically anyway, use the, um, RCS to push myself downwards. But as it stands, I can only push myself upwards. So if I overshoot, I can't correct downwards. Anyway, I got over that ridge. I'm now over halfway there. The hovering is working fine. I've got lots of delta V. Um, I forgot which way I'm pointing. I'm going to call it there. I'm going to say thanks so much for watching. Do you like and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos? Come visit me off dice at nearly enough, nearly enough dice .com, where we're also on Facebook and on the Twitters and on YouTube. We can do that. Um, so you just search for nearly enough dice on any of those and you'll find us. And until next time, reach for the stars.